Hey guys, welcome back to Melio Mustang. And today, I got some sad news for you guys. So you know this would be usually part two of the EGR solenoid, but that won't be happening. And if you guys weren't here last video, so what's been going on with the EGR valve itself is I have been having issues where when I hook up the vacuum line, it just stays open, which means the car bogs a lot and dies. And that's when I bought the EGR solenoid, which is in the passenger fender. Anyways, going forward to now, I was doing the install and to do the install on here, you got to take the cover out, which I did. And anyways, I was in the midst of taking it off. And then my sister said, there's some wire hanging down here. Well, I thought it was a wire, but it wasn't. Anyway, so I said, pull it up. So she pulls it up and I look at it and I realize it's connected to these over here, the solenoid and the two other things and everything over here. So the previous owner before me cut the vacuum lines and that's why when that's open or when it's connected, it's like it has a huge vacuum leak because he cut the actual cords coming over here for the vacuum lines. That's also probably why it smells like gas and everything like that. Oils poorly. Everything that the EGR needs to do. What the EGR does though is bring old gas back and runs it through. But the reason why I wanted to fix that was because I keep on getting a cold code. And I don't want to throw that away. I wanted to fix it, but I won't be able to fix it. But also I got to check out what other things he did cut with it. Which is honestly scary because I don't know what they are. So I'm going to do more research on that. But I have been driving this thing for a year and a bit. And it ran perfectly and everything. I did have odds and ends. You know, when you get a 26-year-old car, you're going to have all the things. But that's where it sits right now. And I am looking at selling this car because I do need a truck because I am going into welding. And, you know, I, I can't really have a vehicle sitting in here for a long time unless... I find a cheaper truck then I can use that and probably keep this if you guys have any questions about how to install intake or new battery to even simply do an oil change or installing headlights just come to me and I'll show you guys how I installed these it's not that hard over here is broken but as you can see all the wires in there and you know you got to splice stuff and it's easy I just use little clamps that's it I can show you that all you need the safe way. <laughs> I'm not doing anything half fast. I don't do anything half fast on my car. So, I mean, if you want to see anything like that in my videos, you know, just leave down in the comments, comment what you want to see. I have a new intake, headers, MSD distributor, so much. I have a stage two race clutch on here, a short shifter. If you guys want to see how to install any of that, just leave it down in the comments below. I can upload stuff like that. I mean, we're all in quarantine right now, so if you want to see anything like that, just shoot me a message on Instagram at Maliola Mustang or down below in the comments. This is where it sits, guys. Anyways, have a great day and stay safe.